Do they know where you are and what kinds of conditions you're living in? خبر نیست یک بار پیش یک عکسی ما اونجا امام میکودیم اونجا چوب Being a refugee is much more than a political status. It is the most pervasive kind of cruelty that can be exercised against a human being. In general, technology has a lot of power to plug into these uh, scenarios that are very basic, very simple things like translation. Like how can people be, you know, suffering and having and dying basically from translation? And, and we, we, we want to be able to plug into those as quickly as possible. Here's how Terjimli works. On the left is a mock translator named Atif, and on the right is a mock refugee named Uzma. Uzma needs help translating Arabic to English, and when she sends a request, Atif is one of the Ping translators. When Atif accepts her request, they are connected in a live session via Terjimli. Uzma says she needs translating help for the sentence, My right kidney hurts, which Atif quickly translates to English. He can even send an audio note for Uzma to play for whoever she's with. I decided to use Facebook Messenger for a number of reasons. One big one was the quick speed of adoption, so we were able to get 2,000 translators to sign up very quickly and use the service. Uh, another is like the rich set of tooling that's already available. Why go and reinvent the wheel when you already have something with so much power and a whole team of developers that are going to build on it in the future. Mm -hmm.